afternoon, everybody. It is Monday afternoon, and I'm just getting ready to go and run some errands. Um, sitting in the car right now, and I really have a few talking points to go over. First of all, um, my channel is Jen's Merrimack Valley Home, and um, I hadn't put anything out in a long while. I've been very, very busy, uh, just life happening and different things. So, um, helping my daughter out with her bookkeeping services and such. So, right now, um, I'm starting to get a little more time or being able to work a little bit more time into doing some videos. And um, just to let you know, I'll start putting videos out on Wednesdays and Saturdays um, at some point in time during those days. And my format's going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to have crock pot ideas for simple tasty, uh, no hot oven recipes uh, at this time. We still got a couple of months of some warm, a lot warmer weather. And it's August here in Missouri, so it'll be uh, August, September, sometimes even in up to October, we can have some really warm days. But we're gonna go for some um, no hot oven recipes. And uh, I will do a variety of different recipes for you, from new to old, old to new. <laughs> You'll, you get it. And I know there's a lot of them out there now, but I've got some that came from my family that I especially want to use for some of the older recipes. So with that being said, um, I will also be doing some excerpt, excerpts on uh, some political issues, the political scene, if you may. I know there's a ton of that going on out there, but I, w I want you to know what's, what's, what's going on as well from my, not only my point of view, uh, but, uh, from the state of Missouri. Um, so, um, we will do some, uh, gardening preparedness for winter, planting um, or just getting your garden ready for next year's planting in the spring and we'll also be trying some new cleaning hacks that are always so wonderful i love anything that makes uh cleaning a lot shorter and easier so um my first thing i'm going to be doing um this coming up wednesday is a new recipe it's a crock rock crock crock pot <laughs> recipe uh, uh, for chicken. Chicken's a very versatile uh, meat and, uh, or poultry rather, and uh, you can use it in so many ways. And so uh, that is going to be one of my first crock pot recipes. Uh, you won't want to miss that. It's a really good recipe. Um, so that being said, uh, we'll be doing all those things and more. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, on our political scene, Biden was apparently, it's been in the news quite often um, here in the past uh, a couple of weeks actually, about him being pushed out of office or or that he was uh, stating that he was just going to resign from um, the candidacy um, to run for the 2024, or I'm sorry, yes, the 2024 election. We're going into 2025, oh my goodness. And um, he admits though that he was under pressure by the Dems uh, to, to do this and what I think it is, I mean, considering what I've heard now, I mean, there's a lot of information out there. You can go look it up yourself. But honestly, they did 
what I call a soft coup, where they pushed out the current president and all of the people who voted in the primaries for, for pres President Biden have now lost their votes. And I don't know how they feel about that. Um, you might want to comment below if what your feelings are on that. Don't, don't get on there and do any negative stuff, you know, no cussing, cursing, things like that. But just, just give me your point of view. I find it very, very um, interesting that they would do that, which shows their agenda. Their agenda is just to win. Um, they slapped in Kamala. She has not had one single vote for uh, presidency. And yet she gets on there and cackles and carries on like, oh, everything's just fine. And, you know, it's another day at the White House. But um, that's that's not it. There is a deep, dark agenda. Uh, agenda. It's an evil agenda. And whether you want to believe it or not, we are not fighting just between Democrats and Republicans. And we're not just fighting against, uh, uh, you know, each other, you know, when we either speak to each other or we text each other or we're Facebooking, you know, saying, you know, this is my president and this is going to be our president. And it's a push and pull type thing. But the evilness that is going on is very much in the Bible regarding the end days. And, and I'm not going to say a whole lot on that at the moment. Uh, the subject will come back up at some point in time. But the evilness, I mean, you can see it. It's so obvious and it's just so uh, alarming to see how these people are acting on the Democrat side. And not only that, a lot of people globally um, are just acting evil. And if you can't see that, there's an issue there. Um, so anyway, if they can do that, push, you know, push Biden out and just put Kamala in there without even getting a single vote from the Democratic Party, um, constituents and people still want to vote for her there's a whole lot of people we need to really really awake uh, not woke but awake you, you know you don't need to be woke nobody needs to be woke everybody needs to be awake so um, I think you know, we're going to go into this a little bit more a little bit later on, but I just wanted to get some thought out there, see what you all think, um, leave some comments. Uh, you know, it's very important because we don't want to live in a communist country, and that's exactly where we're heading for. Now you say, hey, you know, how do you know this, and, and, and why would you say such a thing? Well, because it's written all over. I mean, it's obvious. You can see it. And people, some people believe it, and some people just are very um, closed off to the fact that anything is happening. So we're we're trying to get um, as many people on board to save this country. And if they do this to Biden, and Kamala just gets in there with no votes, then. That sets the precedent for them just placing whoever they wish for each presidential nomination every four years. It's crazy. It's lunacy. It's evil. Please think about that. Okay, and I need to get a drink. My throat is very dry today. Very hot out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and Kamala also just really kind of 
is out there saying that, um, you know, she's going to do this on the first day of office and she's going to do that and she's going to do something else. And all the things that she brings up, she's had three and a half years to take care of her and Biden and they haven't did that. And that's what happens every single time is that they basically just sit there and make promises and they don't keep them. And that's been as long as I can remember. Um, and I was born in 1960. So I barely remember JFK being assassinated. And I remember uh, Dr. Martin Luther King being assassinated. And I also have now seen, well, previous to that was Reagan assassination attempt and now President Trump uh, assassination attempt. So, and it's always been on the Republicans except for JFK, but that was a whole different party back then. That was a whole different Democrat party, but it was turning real fast. It was turning dark at that time. So, you know, just for that fact alone, oh my goodness, I wouldn't vote, I mean, do what you want, but that's, that doesn't tell me anything. Um, also, there is a global assault going on. And it's been going on for a while, but imagine this. We fought the Revolutionary War against uh, Britain, the UK, and we won. We won that battle. We won our freedom. And basically, now, the UK is threatening America for call, you know, for causing social unrest uh, for for them and other countries, getting things started, if you will. And so, they, the UK has basically said that they are going to be the de facto. Um, police over censorship. Get that. That's... I just don't know what to say about that. But we're sure as heck going to fight it, right? Um, and I'm like, hello, we won that war a long time ago, and we will continue to win that war, uh, whether you like it or not. So, uh, that's my thought on that. I don't know if you think that same way. You can go ahead and put it in the comments as well with any other comments that you may have. Um, they want to do that because they say we're spreading uh, um, disinformation, fake news. Um, and they're threatening Elon Musk as well for X because it's a... Uh, free speech uh, platform and um, you know basically um, he's going to have to take them to court or at least start thinking about or taking the steps to take them to court and uh, fight about that with them. Um, everything is either uh, a fight you know it's, it's an information war that has to be fought legally in the court systems so that's where we're at and if you, you know like I said you can look some of these you can look all of these things up uh, regarding uh, Elon Musk the global assault on um, censorship and um, Kamala Harris I mean if you look and do your research you're gonna see all these things so um, I just wanted to make this short video to, to kind of bring you up to speed and just to let you know that I'm going to be back and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of different things um, and not just cooking because, you know, our lifestyles is just not cooking. We do other things as well. So we're going to get into all that and much more on my next video. So when you see my videos come up, please like, subscribe, and share. And 
we're just going to have a great old time. So until then, I'm Jen at Jen's Merrimack Valley Home. You have a great day.